All right, on to the next one here now, job number five. Let's show you this. We've got a flat manhole rammed up to the rafters. You start to notice the sniff from over this section here. A little burst in the gully. And then, yeah, it's also connected onto another part of the property over there, which is draining around. So, so I haven't sorted it. I will sort it. Before you lie about lying, about lying, about lying, about lying. Now, this here. Yeah, you'd like to say is running that way. It leads out to a septic tank. He said the septic tank is empty. It is really, really shallow along here. Um, oh, what? Strange. You don't get me glove because that's only really shallow. There's a, a main bleeding into it, I know that much. That's in the middle, that's why. It's like right in the, the centre of the drain. It's gonna go.
probably hitting big bump of wipes. So uh, I'm going to try with the Penetrate MC. There's obviously a lot of routes through here as well. It being where it is. That could actually be an electric cable, that's absolutely stupid. You know, there's a water pipe still bong my idol sticking it through your manhole. You are stupid. Right. We've got a nice, very, very, very fast tap. So I'll get this manhole clean first. Give all around the area as good as clean as I can. And um I'll show this quality behind as well. So obviously we've got roots hanging about everywhere. I'm not even gonna attempt to start messing with septic tanks. We don't really, even if they lead to a septic tank, it's more of an upkeep thing really. You can get rid of all these roots, but ideally you wanna be doing this every now and then if you don't want to septic tank. A hose, I think, from the looks of things. Let me see if I can clean up some of this on the edge here. That'll do nicely. They're all flowing. Get everything away. And on to my next one. Alright, click the like and subscribe button, please. Notification button too. It's me, myself, and Justin. But basically, we're going to jet from this road stack here. It's all backing up from the downstairs loop. Uh, he's got his gully blocking up here too. Soil stack in between there, and it's blocking up over this gully around there too. Now, for your expert viewing, I'm going to give you this gully here. I think you could be hitting it there. Don't forget you're using your left hand on the hose when you're not left-handed, you're right-handed. 
I told you this on like the last 17 videos, didn't I? Yeah. Get no joy, mate. There you go. Well, hey, Justin, mate. Keep going. That's, that that's it. He's got past the best friend, guys. Remember, if you hit anything, stop. Okay, bring it back and jab it, remember? Keep trying it, remember? It's not going to always work straight away, but just take your time and let it sometimes do take a few hits, buddy. Like you said, there's no tap, so we need water. Do you like? Oh, there's no tap around there, no? No, no, so just remember that, lads. You're not going trigger happy, mate. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right, that's fine. Look, we'll get the top still blocked. That's probably because all the sewage is uh, backed up in there. That, this is just full of mud. Known as Justin, 20 years of age, in the making, what? ready for action. Oh, I'm going to leave you to do the, um, the clean up, mate. I'm not sure, mate. Grids off today. Got that greasy. That doesn't put you off your uh, having your tea tonight. So I don't know what would. Are you whistling the same song? I don't know song you're whistling. I'm just whistling. I'm not even whistling to a song. It's just whistling. Just whistling. Yes, yeah. Mate. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do one down here. Beautiful. Well done, Drew. Oh, right, so it's sitting on there, isn't it? Straight away. It's a very weird step. That's where you got stuck. Yeah, yeah. So look, it's coming back on itself, so the way they've installed oh, this, geez. see? Go and ask them to flush this upstairs, Luke, mate. Yeah. So it's not letting me turn. Yeah, I'm on it now. Upstairs. Upstairs, Luke, yeah. So on that tear, just a bit installed, a little bit too tight. A bit too close for comfort. Jack wouldn't do that. The water's still holding. Could possibly have an interceptor. Submerging on the front, mate, anyway. I think it's got a bad interceptor, bud. 
definitely, yeah. Uh, Annie. That's what I was hitting before. Go and have a look, walk around the street there, mate, and see if there's um, any in there. I think he's got a buried interceptor, yeah. Is there, yeah? Whereabouts? Where is it located? From the fence. That is it. Right, okay, yeah. So he's got one of buried somewhere, yeah. Unless it's over there or under here, isn't it? One or the other. There's a little dip going on here. Right, okay, you've got all them tree roots there too, so we'll have to do a sand on that one and, uh, and see, mate. It's probably going to be in these bushes, all right. We'll get that pinpointed and located for him, but when, more than likely got an interceptor very well off the track, so obviously on the front of this property over there, there's one just sat in the corner, so he'll have his buried. Unfortunately, ah, that'll do nicely then on to the next one. All right, last job of the day. Let's show you here. I'm around the back in the gully there. Right. 
Yeah, it's a gully coming in. See the way that's coming from there. It's an old surface drain. I get rid of the rolling stones. It's not the bad news, but I'll give you a little recap in a minute. But yeah, that'll do for today. On to my next one.